Hey guys, I'm going to help you out with Lesson 35's homework tonight. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at number one. It says, draw and label a tape diagram to show the following are true. So we have 8 thirds equals the same thing as 4 times 2 thirds or 4 times 2 thirds. So the way that we're going to show this is I'm just going to draw um, 4 groups of 2 thirds because that's essentially what we're saying because it's 4 times uh, four groups of two-thirds, so I'm going to draw my tape diagram with my thirds and color in two, so that's one group of two-thirds. Then we have two groups of two-thirds, three groups of two-thirds, and I can't quite fit it, so I'm going to put it down here, so there's another group of two-thirds. So all together, if I counted those up, I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight thirds, which gives me the same answer. So I'm going to write eight thirds right here. Okay, let's look at the next one. It says 15 eighths equals three times five eighths or three times five eighths. So I'm gonna do three groups of five eighths so I'm going to separate my tape diagrams into eighths. I'm going to color in five, two, three, four, five. I'm going to make another one because it's three groups of this. Separate it into eighths. One, two, three, four, five. And one more because I need three groups. Okay, and I'm gonna separate this one into eighths as well. So one, two, three, four, five. If I go back and count these, I should have 15 eighths because it's three groups of five eighths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Did you count those right? Yes, I did. Okay, so we should have 15 eighths is what we're gonna write below. All right. On number two, it says write the expression in unit form to solve. Remember, unit form is kind of like what they have up, up top where um, instead of saying 10 times 2 fifths numerically like it looks right here, I would say 10 times the number 2 and then the word fifth. It's kind of like saying 10 times 2 dogs. I'm going to get 20 dogs, um, but here I'm turning fifths into the unit so you don't forget that you're not supposed to multiply that first number by the denominator. You only multiply it by the numerator. So 10 times 2 fifths is 20 fifths, which is going to be 20 fifths, just like that. I'm going to do the same with 3 and 5 sixths. So 3 times 5 sixths with 6 written in word form. So I'm going to get 15 sixths. And if I were to write that numerically, it would be 15 over 6. All right, on C, I have 9 times 4 ninths, so I'm going to say 9 times 4 ninths. And 9 times 4 is 36, so I'm going to get 36 ninths. And I could write that as 36 over 9. And the next one I have 7 times 3 fourths, 7 times 3 fourths, so 7 times 3 will give me 21 fourths, which you could write as 21 over 4. Now you don't have to do this every time, I think they're just asking you so you get the gist of the fact that the number you're multiplying is only going to be multiplied by the numerator. So let's try it without having to do all that extra. So let's look at 3a. So it says 6 times 3 fourths. We don't have to write all that out if we know that you're only multiplying the 6 by the 3. So 6 times 3 fourths is just going to be 18 fourths. Just like that. Easy as pie. Okay, on B, uh, it says 7 times 5 eighths. So I'm going to get 35 eighths because 7 times 5 is 35. On C, I have 13 times 2 thirds. Well, 13 times 2, if you don't know that fact, you could just say 13 plus 13 over here. And you'll get 26. So I have 26 thirds. On D is have 18 times 2 thirds. If you don't know what 18 times 2 is, we can do that down here. Remember, 8 times 2 would give you 16, and 10 times 2 would give you 20. So when you add those together, you get 30, 
six, so you get 36 thirds. Um, on E, you have 14 times 7 tenths, so 14 times 7. I'm going to do that off to the side. 4 ones times 7 ones is 28 ones, and 110 times 7 is going to be 70. So I'll get 28 plus 70, which will give me 98. So I'm going to say 98 tenths. tenths. And then on F, you have 7 times 14. Well, we just did that fact, so I'm just going to say 14 times 7 is 28, because we just, or not 28, excuse me, 98. We just did that one. And then you'll get 98 hundredths. Okay, on this very last one, we've got a word problem. And let's look at that and see what we've got. So it says, Miss Smith bought some orange juice. Each member of her family drank two-thirds cup for breakfast. There are five people in her family. How many cups of orange juice did they drink? Well, I could add two-thirds five times, or I could say five times two-thirds, which is pretty easy. Five times two gives you ten. So I have ten-thirds. Now, it would be weird to sell, tell somebody you drank ten-thirds cups of orange juice. So I'm going to change that back into a mixed number just because that's typically what we do with word problems. And so I could pull out nine-thirds, which is equal to three holes, plus that other third. So altogether, they drank three and one-third cups of orange juice. All right, hope this was helpful.